Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. We're going to continue where we left off with, with we put panels on a frame and we put them into the different border regions centre, east, west, north, south. And so, what we've done is we put a button into each one of them. So that's the centre, and you see how centre that is. And that's east and that's west. Obviously, this is south, we'll make it a little bit smaller. South, and that's north. And so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the background colour of the panel so you can actually see the panel. And we'll do that with the centre one first. So if we go down, we're going to start with panel 5. And before we add the components, I will go in, well I can do it before we make the buttons, um, so what we've got is pan 5 dot set background colour and what it is, it's, you can see it's already telling you what to do, colour, PT, what background, background colour. So this is, this is what you put in, oops, it just, it's doing, it's American way of spelling it, colour dot, and you get a whole list of colours, I'm going to do bool, semicolon, and if I save it and run the program now you'll see the centre panel, well you should. There you go, that's the centre panel. Now you can actually see what's happened. This is a panel that we created and added so we can add things to it. And we added this button to it. And this is the east one. That's the west one and this is the east one. And this is the north and this is the south. You can't see, that's just off the screen, the south. So I'll make that smaller. And if I do this, you'll see the regions change as you adjust the size which is good, that's powerful, we can use that to our advantage. And so, what I'm going to do now is add the change of colours of the west. Uh, so that's panel 1. So panel 1, if I go to panel 1, and I do pan 1 dot set background colour. And we'll do colour dot and we'll change it to green green yeah why not it's just there it doesn't matter as long as you can see the difference if it looks good it's even better and that does look good right so that's a west region and we put a, a low button into the west region and so if do is if we change the second one this will be the east region, pan 2, dot set, background colour, and we want colour dot, and let's see, orange, pink, orange, and if we save and done the programme again, so we've got, that's a, the panel we put into the east region and we added a button to that region. Now we're going to change the north background and the south one. As you can't see it so I just made that a little bit smaller. Let's get rid of that. And so the third one it's um, pan free dot set colour dot Set background colour. Set something wrong. Dot. Wait for it to come up. Set background colour. And we'll go colour dot. And we'll go for red. We can go down that far. Save. Run the program. And that's enough. That's a panel in the north. 
and so if we go to the solve we've not added one to the solve yet and so we'll add a colour to this one so now you can see the different regions and this add other stuff to it you'll see how they change but we can actually set a, a size to a panel where it will not become bigger than the size that we determine so it's lots of to pull for things we can do with the code and so what I'm going to do is add another pan 4 dot set background colour and it's colour dot and what one should we do? Let's say magenta. Let's see. Let's see. Run the program. And you can see that itself has been changed. So that's us got a different regions. Now what I'm going to do is add another button to the west region. The West region, I think, was. <laughs> excuse me. The West region, I think, was. Yeah, panel one. So, what we can do is create another button. Um, create another button here. And we'll call because we've already got five button six and we'll say waste rapid okay that's us done that so all we need to do is add this button est to panel one we've already got this one here so all we need to do is panel one dot add Six is the one we want to add. Save the program, and you can see what's happened. Centers became smaller, and because we've set this to throw the alt, it's going to continue adding all the way until the end of the the, the frame, and these are going to get smaller. And then when it gets to the end, it's going to go to this row, keep doing throws from left to right until the end, then goes to the right, ag the left again and goes to the right, keeps doing that like a zebra. Now what's happened in the centre here, this centre button is still in the centre, um, but the difference is the space of the centre panel has got smaller. The distance between the west region and the centre of the button is the same as the distance between the east region and the centre of the button. So this distance is the same as this distance here. It's just this whole area has got smaller. And so if we added one to the east region, that would come out here and the centre would get smaller again. And it goes the same if we add things to the north and south. So we can actually, we can actually use uh, the layout managers to an advantage to create a good, um, nice looking um, user interface for an application. And so to demonstrate it again, I will add one to here, but what I really want to do the next time I want to change the layer managers for each each panel so, so that I can show you that this one could be flow, this one could be border layout, this one could be a grid layout, and this one could be another one. They can all be doing different things. And so, so what I'll do is I'll add one to this region, which is panel two. And where did we add that one? Six. Call this one seven. Created another button called seven, and it's going to be east. And we're going to add to the second one. So we'll go after the first.
plus 1 subject to the second one, we're going to have fan2, which is east, dot add, and then we're going to add number 7, semicolon. Save on the program. And what you can see is the centre has got smaller again, and the centre is the centre again. The distance between here is the exact same as the distance between there. Now, these are different because hello has five letters and that has five letters as well. Rest, it should be the exact same size. Right? And so what we've done is, as we've increased here, this area has increased and the same with this one. Now, that's because we've got a flow layout. And I'll lift this up so you can see this up. Now, we could change this where it wasn't a flow layout. It could be some other one where it wouldn't expand that way. It could, we could, this could actually be a border layout with a north, um, south, west, east and centre. And I'll show you that in the next tutorial. So that's for this tutorial. And I hope you've got a better grasp of the, of the panels and border layouts. And yeah, that's a border layout. Yeah, and so, so again, thank you for your tender. And if that's helped at least one person, then I'm very happy because that's what this is all about. So, thank you for your tender.